Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Still processing the events from the last couple of days and just, you know, some questions and concerns come to mind. In a couple of days, we'll be entering church houses and uh, I'll be very intrigued to see what our religious leaders have to say about what has transpired the last couple of days. See, the, the term or the statement, let's pray about it, is something that you hear about often when things like this happen. OK, I, I go to one of those churches where my pastor uh, doesn't really like to talk about current events. OK, uh, and it's something that's always irked me as long as I've been going to this church. And, you know, I understand sometimes because what's going on outside of us changes constantly. Um, one may not want to, you know, get into it. Yeah, OK, that likes but one may not want to get into it because it may change the minute they stop talking on it. But I still don't like it because I feel like, because on Sunday, churches are going to be packed. Every church in every city here in the United States is going to be packed because when people get scared, they look for answers. All right. They look for answers to the Bible. They look at their religious leaders. They look at their mentors. They look at people around them to say, hey, how do you explain to me what's going on? I've had to explain to my daughter um, because, you know, she was, she saw the news and she was like, you know, daddy, why, why did that man kill those people? Or why did the police officer shoot those people? You know, I've had to explain to her the best that I can, what's going on. Okay. And it, it's, it's one of those things that's hard to explain because you, you know, you don't want to talk to kids about killing and death and, and, and racism or profiling, you know, because that's, that, that's something that a child should not have to try to comprehend they're supposed to be children you know so people are going to be looking for answers to what's going on and like i said a lot of people are going to say you know or have said let's pray about it okay prayer is always a good starting point it's not supposed to be the finishing point there are some things that are truly beyond our control beyond our powers beyond anything that we can do and for those things we absolutely should go to god Okay, you absolutely should go on our knees and start praying. But once we finish that, we have to act. We have to act. It, 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 I, I hate how, hate's a strong word. I dislike how, like I said, you know, like I said, when you ask somebody for something or you even incite that, you know, someone incites that they may need help in a, in a certain area <laughs> and the person responds to them, okay, brother, pray about it. And I'm just like, pray about it is pray about it. I feel like it's one of those political answers. It's like a religious political answer. It's, it's saying, hey, look, me personally, I don't really want to help you right now. You know, it might be a homeless person asking me for money and I, I have it. And I mean, I want to give it to him. So I tell me, you know what? I'll pray for you. You know, honestly, it's, 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 it's a political, it's one of those political answers of where you say, you know what? I really don't want to. You know, it's like saying, I really don't want to do it right now. I can't do it right now. You know, I, I you know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a way of man abdicating their responsibility.